guys are in good shape there. We're up to 200 people now. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. How's the education coming? 4%. Definitely have to do some educating here. There. Look, Abby, this is tetanus. Antelopes die from that disease. Yeah, isn't that fun? Exactly, yeah. Yep. <laughs> I know, I'm gonna need a bigger, I'm gonna need a bigger staff. Yeah, that's what I need to do. I'm gonna have to research the bigger staff room, which I think is under a mechanic here, so let's see. We'll just sell that one and, re and replace it. Staff facilities. That's what I need here. So I wish you this would tell me just how long it takes where, where we where we are at in the research point here functioning workshop takes time okay See, but it doesn't tell you it doesn't tell you how long that's what I wish you knew. okay this is where you're at in your process of research here so we're gonna have to I'll, I'll wait I don't want to tie up my I don't want to tie up both of them because I have no idea how much longer we got and we don't need anything breaking at this point. Oh, there's our babies. There's our babies. They had two babies. Look at that. Nice. Oh, look at that. She is a gold star appeal there, baby. Nice. It's your genetics. Look at that. Wow, you're not, you'll be a nice one to throw up for adoption. We'll get some conservation credits from you people. How about you? How do you look here? Your silver star. Nice. Nice. Yeah, they're pretty solid genetically speaking here. All right, so we got to rename them. All right, let's go. Uh, they're both female, right? <laughs> both female. <laughs> All right, well, one I can name Patricia after uh, Pat, who donated, so we'll do that anyway. Patricia, so there we go. Hey, this battery H is going to have to be a girl. I could name the other one Gwen, couldn't I? Or I could go, uh, hold on. Who have we, Fury, Fury Heidi, right? Or Fury in Gwen. Fury in Gwen. We'll go Fury in Gwen. It's, uh, I-N-G, right? I-N-G. Let's go G, please. W-E-N. There we go. People see that name like, what? <laughs> It's a hell of a name for her, an antelope. <laughs> so, uh, let me take a look. How's our... Uh-oh, research complete. Yes, okay, thank you. All right, let's get into this mechanic research. Stop that now. 
I need you doing staff facilities now. We need the staff facilities research. There we go. Let's go. Um, nice. Uh, are you preg? Let's see here. Yeah, we don't want to give anybody contraceptives here. We want lots of babies here. I... Yes. Nobody's currently pregnant. Fury, Patricia. So they, they're actually not twins, so they were born one right after the other, practically speaking, though. Lucas is getting up there. Uh, Kat Kumi's almost two years old. Uh-oh. Oh, oh Patricia, pro probably because she wants... Looking for shelter. Okay. Another female bison, that's what I need now. What the hell is going on there? Where are we at here? 2.59. Oh, we are so close. We are so close. A protester. Oh, no. Oh, no. I was about to say protester. No, that's our, that's our uh, maintenance staff there. Yeah, antelope haven't tried to get over here, so I guess maybe they can't actually, even though there's... Because that's as far as I, I was able to get the ground. So I think there's there's the fence, the collision wall for the fence comes out this way, so it actually prevents them from getting over there. So that, that works pretty good, decently. All right. Oh, are you nursing? I think you're eating. You were eating. Oh, no, that's daddy. You better not be eating from daddy. That's a little, uh, a little, uh, you might not be the brightest ship in the sea there, I guess. Okay, that's, um, excellent. All right. No, let's cancel that. Let's just just get some level ones here anyway. Um, this stuff researches pretty quickly, which is nice. Oh, no! Oh, Lucas. Oh, no. Lucas died. I knew he was pretty old. Poor Lucas. You did your job well, though, pal. There's Lucas. Daddy died. Oh, no. We'll have to bring in another male then. All right, let's call in the vet. Loving memory, yes. Lucas. Lucas did his job well. <laughs> Goodbye, Lucas. <laughs> oh, she's crying. All right. Well, let's go adopting here. Let's pause this real quick while we uh, let's get a research set. All right, um, FIP, Q fever, MRS, <laughs> cowpox virus, the avian flu. I've heard of that one. Monkeypox, I heard of.
intestinal herpes virus. Really? Foot and mouth disease. That might be one we want to research. Rotavirus. I think I've heard of that. Glanders. Canine distemper. We don't have any canines in here. We don't have the Nile crocodile, so we don't have to worry about that. We don't have any pigs, so I don't think we have to worry about that. Botulism, we might have to worry about. Tetanus, we might have to worry about. So let's, let's get you... Let's get you researching that. I think we're, we've got staff facilities researching. Okay. So let's go ahead. So we need a male. We need another male pronghorn here. We're looking for a female, a decent female bison too. Damn. You're only 10 years old, so it's not worth, not worth having. You might die before you get pregnant. Might die while you're pregnant. All right, this one. This this one is worth a shot here. This one is worth a shot. And we can get one more baby. Once once I can get one more bison baby, then I can sell the first one. Put the first one up to market here. And if we can get the pronghorns again, then we can start adopting those babies or selling those baby putting them up for adoption all right let's go ahead and adopt you because i mean immunity i'm not too concerned about because as long as we throw you in quarantine you should be fine but you're fertile which helps and you're going to be long-lived all right let's go ahead let's adopt you come on come on yes okay so we need a male pronghorn right now. There's no male pronghorns for cash. So we're gonna have to, haven't seen any male pronghorns for cash yet. So let's see what we got here. Nope, you are useless. Damn. Oh, here we go. Here's somebody worthwhile. How old are you? You're oh, he's a young one too. All right. I mean, he's short-lived lifespan. Pretty fertile. If he's as fertile as Lucas, he might be good to go. He's got good immunity genes, so we can pass that on. Let me see. Yep. But he's got no immunity. I'd rather pass on the immunity here. So let's go ahead with this one. You're pretty good size. So let's go ahead and adopt that one. There we go. All right. All right, so we got a female bison and a male pronghorn ready to be moved to quarantine. Move to quarantine. You move you to quarantine. Get you guys going. So you guys are good to go now. Two hundred. Oh, we are so close to hitting that three hundred. Come on. We need is more people. If we can get more people in. We haven't had any visitors to the zoo in a while either. I was the last visitor, as a matter of fact, wasn't I? Uh oh. <laughs> so I want to put more I want to save this for more facilities of course they're both on break oh, yeah, yeah. All right. anyway the challenges now aren't that 
vital because now now we got we got the good cash flow coming in here that's key now so yeah still about still figure about seven thousand in expenses but now we're getting averaging about eleven thousand in income which is good per year <sighs> yep yep so about seventy five hundred in expenses eleven and a half thousand in income so we're doing well. We're doing well. All right, so that's what we're looking for here. All right, so let's uh, let's bring in some more animals then. Let's see who we can adopt next. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, hold on. All right. Uh, who pa let's see who passed though? You're not telling me who passed. Who passed? Ready to leave? Okay. We can move both of yous into here. Oh, all right, there we go. All so let's see who's some cheap animals here. Oh, the warthog and the pea fowls are cheap, but. What we want to do is do money for the ones that we're actually bringing in to breed. Because we're not going to trade them. They're going to stay in the zoo. It's the babies we want to start trading. So they're the, so we want, we don't want to use, I don't want to use conservation credits on anything we're going to keep in the zoo. Because then the babies will rename uh, to our Extra Life donation people. And then uh, trade them out. Plain zebra. That would be nice to have. But uh, what we got? So we've got North American. Adopt Donald Trump. I know, right? <laughs> what is... Um... Uh oh, hold on. There's the first one. There's our, there's our new bison. Jesus, you just ran over the baby. And look, the first thing they do is go swimming. First thing the bison do is go swimming. There's our new male uh, pronghorn. Once it gets daylight, we'll get a better look at you. Looks like you're in better shape, though. It doesn't look like you've been in any battles, which is nice. Okay, so good. Hopefully, you'll start making babies pretty quickly here. As will you. All right. Uh oh, we got a visitor. I think Tim's. I think Tim was here before. There we go. Yep. Maximum number. Oh, we only. Oh, we have a limit we can do per day. Ah, oh, okay. Well, that sucks. <laughs> All right. So we don't have to greet anybody else. All right. Um. Yeah, okay, so where was I? Yeah, let's get back in here. Let's see who we want to bring in here. Let's see who's cheap for cash. All right, so PFAL. Oh, you know what? North America. I was looking to use else as North American because we'll, we'll, we'll sort of make this maybe our North American range here. So I got to see. I guess I have to look that up in the Zoopedia. Oh, grab ball, nice. So we got that enrichment. Okay, that's for the pronghorn. Who? Right. Oh, fun facts. It's called an antelope. Pronghorn is actually more closely. Re oh, really? They're wow. More closely related to giraffes and uh, um, okapi. Okap. I think that's pronounced okapi. That's interesting. That I see. I actually learned something myself. I did not. I would not have realized that. The second fastest land animal after the, really. I don't think I knew that either. It can run at sixty-one miles per hour, but they can run for much longer than the cheetah, which of course you know, kind of makes sense because if you can't outrun whoever's coming to eat you, your species is not going to last very long. So they can they can outrun the cheetah. Maybe I should put the cheetah down next to him. Of course, uh, we don't have any native cheetah here, do we? Um, I guess I can do the American buffalo. 
where's the, I was about to say, where's the American Buffalo? Here we go. We, and look at that. So some things have already, there's some cross status there. See, look at that. The American Buffalo can get along with everything from, <laughs> from, uh, from Africa. That's interesting there. We can throw some Thompson's gazelles in with the buffalo. Let me see where see what the uh Phelan? is Phelan? I forget uh, I don't know if that's the uh, the that might be the new one we just brought in. We got quite a few years to go to see if we can get a record here, huh? All right, let's um Oh, that's the African buffalo. I'm thinking American. Didn't we have a... Oh, that's why. I thought we had an American buffalo. I guess I guess I can't read, apparently. Here I'm um, wishing I could Ardvark. This is where I'd like to be able to do a search. Is like I just want North American animals here. Excellent. All right. Let's take care of that first then. All right, so that's done. Foot and mouth disease, I probably should do that one next fight. I actually need to get some more research in on these things. So let's go ahead and uh, let's keep the pronghorn research going for the moment. That way I can up the education on that. At least I can do that. Um, I wonder if I shouldn't at least get my other vet on there. You know, let's do that. Because right now we haven't needed a vet that much at the moment. So let's go ahead and get research in on you too. So let me see here. See, you can filter by age, you can filter by sex, you can filter by rating. But we can't filter by continent here. Oh yeah, so I, yeah, I misread that. Well, these are what I got available anyway. So I guess at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. It's what do we have available to buy? <laughs> so you do the Thompson's Gazelle. Do the Springbok, and we know they get along together because we have them in our sandbox zoo. A bong? Oh, there's no copy. Chinese pangolin, huh? The Nile monitor. See, this is the thing here. What would we like to adopt? That's the key. Black Wildebeest. What do you get along with? Let's see here. Top 
drops on this gazelle and the spring bark. Okay. Maybe you should bring zebras in. I don't know if we're going to get ze ze zebras or giraffes for uh, money. Pauses before we lose anybody through time. Um, nobody pregnant yet. Come on, what are you animals waiting for? For God's sakes. I need another baby born so I can. Name it after Bad Reach here. Yeah, see, well, Wellsie's elderly now, huh? She's my female. So we're probably going to be losing Wellsie soon. Uh, just my pillow there. And we got to name one after E Puppy, too. We get another female after the name it after E Puppy Love. Um, hmm. All right. Well, let's see. I, I get. I guess ultimately, what it's going to depend on is what I can. Uh, what we got here to bring in. Let's. Um, So we got some aardvark, so we got some African buffalo. Zebras. Do we have zebras? Let me see. We got timber wolf. I'd have to research the canine disease. So obviously no, no zebras. Salt rock crocodile. I'd have to research the crocodile disease. All right, so we've got the Thompson's gazelle. We got our spring box. So I can actually, in one enclosure, bring in quite a few animals. We can do the wildebeest, the uh, buffalo, the gazelle, the spring box. And we could bring in quite a few animals. And uh, that would really bump up the rating on our zoo. Bring in more people. And hopefully have lots of babies because I know I, cause they, they were having babies like wildfire in my uh, sand park zoo. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, let's do that. So let's bring in the buffalo. If we can also get. And with the Thompson's Gazelle, Thompson's Gazelle is a deluxe edition uh, critter, too. I might be able to get some nice conservation credits for, for putting them up on the market. So let's go ahead and do this. So let's, uh, let's, do, let's do the buffalo. So we'll do the African buffalo. We can do the black wildebeest. We can add the black wildebeest in there too. Um, and the Thompson's gazelle, the springbok. Got quite a few animals we can put in there. So maybe we can do we can do four species. We can do the gazelle, the springbok, the wildebeest. <laughs> And the buffalo. All right, so let, let's uh, let's see what size um, grade three, at least four feet, which uh, we we should be fine because uh, we'll do the moat again. We'll have a moat in that one. So at least four hundred twenty. Oh, they do want water too. Okay. 
We do want water. So 420, 20, 420 and 20. I guess I should write this down here. I need a regular notepad instead of my sticky notes. I used to have notepads floating around here somewhere. Um, yeah, I got them down here, don't I? What the hell is in here? Oh my god, baby ZRS pens. There we go. I just need a notepad here. Just a notepad to write some stuff down here. Oh my god, come here. And we're going to have to go get some lunch soon, too. Oh, here we go. What other notes do I have here? Oh, there you go. Stuff I haven't looked at forever. Oh my god. Putting together a machine. Oh yeah, I was pricing out uh, parts for building another PC. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever do that again. As much as I liked building my first uh, first desktop PC, it's just too much of a hassle anymore. It's actually more expensive than buying one with the stuff you want, too, sometimes. Alright, here we go. Old password list. Alright. There we go. Let's write this down. Good old-fashioned notes. Alright. So we'll adopt these animals. Take a quick video break after this so I can go get lunch and then uh, we'll go from there. All right. So where are we looking at? Okay, the African buffalo. So at least, so grade three Grade three fence. It's got to be at least four plus feet. And it wants uh, 420 square meters. 20 square meters of land, 20 square meters of water. And with a moat, that should satisfy that requirement. Uh, we're looking at grassland and tropical. All right, let's see. Uh, nope. Black wildebeest, don't require water, grade two. So we're gonna have at least a grade three, so that'll be covered. 410, that'll be covered. Looks like grasslands for the most part. All right, and that, oh, that was the uh, black wildebeest. No changes to the nothing. The note there, Thompson's Gazelle. Grade two, four, so nothing changed there. Over there, grassland, yep, Thompson's Gazelle. Gazelle, so we don't have to make any notes for that one. And then what were we looking at? The spring box here. And the same. So really, the buffalo is the only one that has a water requirement. Everybody else is, and everybody else is grassland. We do have some desert with a spring bock. The other one was tropical. I think there were two tropical ones, but we're good there. All right. So that's what we need from that. <laughs> I need more desk space. I gotta get rid of my other. Gotta get rid of my HP laptop here. It's 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 on its last legs free up some desktop space here for myself of course unfortunately that's uh, that's the one i have logged into my uh, real millennium group twitch account to do my uh you know uh, maintenance uh admin on uh, on this channel um all right so we're good all right so that's what we want so let's let's get started with the habitat here i think what i want to do I mean, this is climbable, but these aren't climbing animals, so we should be fine with that. Uh, so we're going to stick with the wood. So let's go ahead and lay this out here. Of course.
course, we, we can't use that as the barrier. So let's go ahead in here with our wood logs. Where are we at here? Four meters. Let's go eight meters on this. And uh, this one, we're sort of, we, I want to sort of have this one, I want to be pretty sizable here. Because we're going to have four different species in here. So we're definitely going to want some size to this barrier, especially with the water requirement. And this is good to, yeah, where we're going to start. Looping her in here. This way, we'll have the entrance. All right, I think that works nicely. I think that looks pretty decent. Did put our gate here. Now we know they need shelters. Uh, we, you know, I might actually throw two shelters in this thing. All right, so that's that. Um, well, I did the barrier later. Let's get into the habitat here. Um, we doing Thompson's oh what was it? oh the spring bock I forgot spring bock spring bock That's an interesting one. I might do a lean to and I might do this one. How much is this one? 330. Still a little bit cheaper than the default ones there. But it goes along, it sort of goes along with our log theme here. 8 by 8 by 2, 8 by 8 by 4. Eight by eight by four. So that's a lean to. This one is an eight by eight by four with a higher roof. There you go, that one. I kind of like that one. This one might actually put like right in the center here. And we'll put like the lean to over there. Here. Yeah. Do I want like that or do I want it like that? Yeah, 
Let's get, that's a little low. I think this one will work nicely. And we can put this sort of over along this side here. I think that'll work. So it'll give them a little bit more. I'm trying to think just height wise. I mean they should they shouldn't be too tall for eh, let's let's go with this one. It'll make them feel a little bit more enclosed too. We'll go over like right here. We'll put this one out like right out here. Right there. There we go. Okay. Let's do our bedding. Yes, editing. Thank you. There we go. That'll work nicely. Okay. Now, of course, we want... I may want to shift this one. I may want to shift this one over, but I gotta remember I'm going to have this moat here. So let's go ahead and work on that. Here we go with the moats. Whoa. Easy there, partner. Spiddled on the screen. It's like, what the heck is that in the enclosure? <laughs> it's not. It's my spittle. All right.
I'm just not very fond of the uh, of these uh, tools here for terraforming. They're very, it's very wonky here. jumping on me isn't helping matters either. And now here's the key. Where do we want to start raising up the fence here so they can't jump over it? I guess what we'll do, this is going to be the interim here, so we're definitely going to want the water to come out this way as well. this now a little bit shallower over here, I think. And a little bit more of a pull there. Let's pull this one up just a bit here. I think what we'll do is make this, extend this out a bit here too. That should fill up the water. Should actually have a little bit of a there's water coming in there. Okay. So let's go ahead and do our the thing is I don't know if I want if I should do rock or not, because I don't know how much rock they're gonna be able to tolerate, but at least we'll do rock on the bottom that can always adjust it if need be. here a bit here anyway yeah, I might want to widen this a bit here All right, I think that will do nicely. I 
cat will indeed do nicely. Okay. There we go, beautiful. Yeah, that's very nice. Now we gotta adjust the fences here. Let's start with this one that we're gonna lower here. And I say, I think this one was gonna be the transitional one. Right, yep, yeah, okay. So what we want to bring you guys down to a meter. There we go. That'll work nicely. Then what we want to do now is go ahead and uh, edit this one here. up to at least four meters. And that should do it, I think. Still okay there? Yep, yeah, we're still okay there. Good. I think that works out very, very nicely. All right. All right, that's a good start there, I'd say, huh? Planet Zoo, the, yes, yeah, we were doing Planet Zoo all day today. It's our special uh, Extra Life uh, ex extra life stream uh, because of uh, hitting our goal of $550, our step goal. So, yeah, so we're going all the way today. It, it's, it's sort of a mega stream today. All right, that's German class. That's for Boo. Good. All right, so let's get some animals adopted, and then I'll be able to go cook myself up a quick lunch here. <laughs> Doing good. Wow, one of oh, look at that one of the big. Where's the other baby? I was about to say one of the babies matured, but I have three females in here. Oh, one of them. Oh, yeah, there it is. That's got to be you. Wow, you're growing up. Yeah, Patricia is growing up. We'll soon we'll soon have to adopt her out. I think she's an adult now. I don't want to adopt her out while she's too old. We may have to adopt her out after we come back from lunch. And how old is uh, Cat Kumi here? Or uh, Fury? She's still a juvie. We may adopt her out too. And we are only $15 away from doing a uh, mega trucking stream as well, where we'll split, uh, we'll do uh, preferably on a Sunday, because then I, I don't have to worry about taking abs of school, picking her up. Today's stream is going to be a little truncated. We're only going to end up doing maybe about seven hours or so. Um, because, of course, I had to drop her off this morning. I got to pick her up this evening. Uh, but Sundays, I don't have that requirement, but unfortunately my Sundays are kind of limited. So, and I wasn't able, I don't have a Sunday this month for another Sunday to do a nice long stream for Planet Zoo. So, yeah, 
But uh, yeah, the trucking stream, if we can hit 575, we're going to do the trucking stream in December. I think I might have at least one Sunday I can squeeze in a nice long stream for that. And then uh, next year, I'm going to do a lot more of these type of streams um, for various uh, genres. So we'll do a nice long, you know, um, obviously in April, we'll have our Guild Wars week. So we'll do, we'll probably do a couple, uh, we'll probably do at least one or two, uh, probably a day. We'll probably spend a day. I'll have to see again. Two days, depending on my stream times. But I want to do a nice long fundraising Guild Wars uh, Extra Life stream in April. So that's definitely going to be on the agenda. But then I'm going to, you know, do another simulation week or simulation day, do like a. Uh, Sort of a, you know, city skylines, planted zoo, planted coaster type day, something like that. You know, building day, indie day, classic gaming day. I'm going to do a lot more of those uh, next year, which is you know, one of the reasons why uh, I'm cutting out the, uh, the mega marathon, the 25-hour marathon for Extra Life next year. Okay, we're good. All right, let's get these... Uh, Looking at it ain't going to adopt me no animals. So let's get some animals adopted here. Okay. And then we can see what changes we need to make. For Okay, so we want to look at the African buffalo. We want to look at the black wildebeest. We want to look at the springbok. And the Thompson's gazelle. Boom. So let's see who we have. All freaking females. Are you serious? I've got one male Thompson's gazelle. Oh my god. Are you serious? Those are the only males I got. Or that's the only male I got. Alright, let's look at him. He might not even be worth it. Why can't I get to the next page? Is he gone already? Yeah, he will be a happy guy, but he's gone already. So he either got adopted or the time ran out on him. All right, here we go. Ugh. Very high immunity, but Midland to everywhere else. But he is literally the only male we have for cash, anyway, which is what I, I really want to try to focus on. But he's not terrible. He's not terrible. How old is he? Three and a half? All right. We'll give it a shot here. Let's get him adopted because he might. He might be the only male we have to choose from at the moment. All right, so we got him adopted. Let's um, let's see what females. That was the Thompson, right? So let's see what female Thompsons we have here. Nope. Nope. We need somebody who's going to be fertile. And we don't have any fertile Thompsons gazelles. Decently fertile. Let's put it that way. Oh, here we go. Okay. Very low immunity, but... Still low immunity. Good fertile. This guy's very fertile. Um, he's 10. He's 9. Alright, let's go ahead and adopt this one. Let's see, let's see who we have for female African buffaloes. Uh, nope. Oy. Oi, that one's a little bit better anyway. Immunity gene-wise, since this guy, not very immune. We want somebody who's going to have a good immune gene here. Uh, but they're all fairly old, too. That's the problem. All right, let's refresh. Let me get somebody who's decent. That's a little better.
Thompson's. Ooh, we got a good female springbok here. How about male? He's a pretty decent male. I mean, decent enough to adopt that springbok. She, what she is, she's good. Let's adopt her. So we got our two springboks. I still need a good female gazelle. 